So Aquarius, before I get into the reading, I'm here to do June, first two weeks of June reading for you guys. Um, this First, before I do that, I've started a podcast, Modern Life Mystic Woman. We are now on iTunes. We're on Spotify. Follow us on Instagram. We do a lot of fun IG lives. We've got a lot of fun stuff going on there. I'm going to leave that link to below. Modern Life Mystic Woman. Check us out. Song I got on shuffle for you guys was Shallow from, from um, A Star Is Born. So this is actually the song Pisces, I think, got for the month of June. So if you have Pisces in your chart or you're dealing with the Pisces, go check it out. Um, but it's that song. It's like, you know, you know how it goes. Tell me something, girl. It's like my favorite song to just imitate. Um, I'm off the deep end, watch as I dive in. So are you diving into the deep end? Let me tell you, if you're dealing with the Pisces, they can get pretty deep. So I hope, I hope you know how to swim. Um, some of you might have Pisces in your chart though. So make sure you check out June's reading. Um, is this a new relationship that's diving deep? Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, we got our first Oracle card. Address your addictions. Forgive and forget. One more. Ask with sincerity. Okay. Address your addictions. What you addicted to? Addicted to holding grudges from the past or not letting something go from the past? Um, you got to so that you can dive in. You don't need anything weighing you down. You'll drown. You'll drown. Somebody's coming in for you. Seven of Swords in reverse. This could be a lot about you guys. This deck's going to be in reverse. I already know it. Um, but that Seven of Swords in reverse, that's about letting your guard down. I think I just did this for Capricorn maybe. Like, are you addicted to keeping your guard up? Let's find out. Overall energy between you and another person. We got the Nine of Pentacles. Um, I feel like you are you could be dealing with an Earth sign. You could be dealing with somebody who's very independent. Very kind of, they're independent, but they're like, they're very abundant. They're very abundant. They're very like, because the, the Nine of Pentacles to me is like that feminine it's such a feminine card. It's like that feminine groundedness, independence. It's like they don't, they're like that feminine energy that really allows allows the pentacles, but doesn't need, doesn't need anything to keep themselves stable. They are very stable. I think you're really attracted to this in this person, this person's stability, this person's um, ability to kind of manifest and create this life for themselves. Um, 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 let's see. This person could be a sweet talker. Sweet talker. Something about their words being real sweet. All right. Um, let's get a clarifier for this nine of pentacles. I feel like you're in a good place too, Aquarius. But this person could trigger something, some kind of fear within you. Five of Swords. Yeah, this person could trigger something in you. You could know that there's a lot of people vying for this person's attention. There could be some kind of um, feeling of defeat in regards to this situation, but I don't think that it's real. I don't think it's real. I think you're bringing something in from the past. And think about that A Star is Born, like, shallow song, like, Bradley Cooper in that movie is an alcoholic. An alcoholic. Um, I'm not saying you are an alcoholic. Um, but you could be trying to like numb out something here. Numbing out something. Let's keep looking. Two of Pentacles. Four of Cups. So there's another like addiction card to me. Sometimes when we get like in that wanting to numb things out phase chariot card you both could have some kind of Like some kind of habits We all have habits, right? 
Uh, two of Pentacles. This is that juggling, but juggling with ease. Chariot card, Cancerian energy here. Making a decision. There's a decision that needs to be made here. Um, and I think it's to move on. To move on. I think you've been stuck in this. And this is the addiction that I think it is. Like, maybe you are drinking a little too much. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what the deal is. But I think whatever you are, you're addicted to that... Uh, whatever it is you're holding on to, like it, it, it's kind of been a crutch for you. And it's like, I don't remember a reading that I've done for Aquarius that this hasn't come up, like this inability to let go of something. And that could be being a fixed sign. Like, you know, uh, my Leo, my Venus is in Leo, which means that it's very hard for me to let go of romantic relationships. Like very, very difficult because I am a fixed sign. You guys are a fixed sign. So, um, but that's my Leo, my Venus. So you guys could have a really hard time when it comes to letting go of some stuff from the past. So it's like you want to move forward towards this, but there's something, there's something about something that you're just not wanting to release some kind of hurt, some kind of situation that you'd rather just be in this four of cups energy, kind of numbing, um, numbing in that numbing mode but i think you're gonna make a decision you have you kind of have to here with the chariot card to move towards success um two of pentacles i feel like you just haven't had found the right person to kind of make this move towards and now you are let's see two of pentacles please five of pentacles coming out of the cold coming out of the cold you're weighing it out I don't know. I think like part of you likes being in the cold because if you're just juggling it, like it's like, like you want to come out of this separation. You want to come into this, but it's like, can I balance this into my life? Cause I think, you know, you know that when you go in, you go deep, you go deep and maybe like this past situation, it took you so long to get over and you created like finally a balance for yourself that you're like do I really want to thrust myself back into that craziness chariot card this could be travel somebody traveling towards you gosh you know sometimes I like look at the cards that I'm seeing I see these cards all the time um higher fan I find it so interesting that in the chariot card, you know, she's wearing her armor. Like you're moving forward, but you've got your armor on, okay? You've got your armor on. Um, you've got your armor on. This could be somebody coming towards you with their armor on, but we have the Hierophant here, so Taurus energy. Um, could talk about spiritual unions, like moving towards these spiritual unions, but you've got, you've got your armor. This could be the person that you're dealing with also. Um, like, you know, moving pretty aggressively towards you. This person could be moving, like, uh, pretty aggressively towards you, Aquarius. They might not give you an option. Queen of Cups. Page of Swords. And the Ten of Cups. I love that. So... This person, this person's moving aggressively towards commitment. And I feel like you are like, let's pump the brakes. Let's pump the brakes, baby doll. Like, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Um, you need to be eased into this situation because like I said, there's some kind of past thing that happened here that you're like, it took me so long to heal from that, that I'm not ready to just like dive back in, you know? Um, so I, I really feel like this person who you're dealing with is moving towards you very aggressively. Um, I don't think you're anti it. I think like you, you like this person, but you're like pump the brakes. Like, let's take it easy here. Cause this person's already coming in with like the Hierophant, the 10 of cups. <laughs> so, you know, they like, they want the full 
full deal with you. And there could be a miscommunication. You're offering your cup of love, yeah, but you're still working on becoming more vulnerable here and like learning to communicate your feelings more. And this person's just like, yeah, the world card. This is about vulnerability and like a kind of, because in this circumstance, like the world card, like she's sitting there naked, all these people looking at, at her. So this is like about you kind of learning to get in touch with your emotions again. So it's like, if you've been separated from your emotions for a while, it's like gonna take you a little while to integrate back into it. Make sure you're communicating that with this person, like communicate open and honestly be honest. Like that ask with sincerity, like maybe you need to tell this person like, hey, this is what I'm going through. This is why I need you to kind of slow your roll. Like, I like you. I want to get there. But like, let's let's take a let's take a breather because this ten of cups here is like this person's ready. This person's ready for the whole nine yards. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's this person's ready for commitment person's ready for commitment i do think you like that because i think you like seeing that this person is the real like really serious about this they're really into this connection but you need your time you need your time it's okay it's okay um but at least you know that this person is just full throttle they really could be a pisces um here we go we got the two of swords the sun card and the six of wants so this person's really wanting this victory here they're really wanting this to be successful uh the sun card like i do think there is happiness here but i do think you are more so trying to figure out where your feelings lie um you're trying to re because we got the page of cups here which is like it's still new to you and you still want to keep it new it doesn't mean you don't want to go the distance with this person but you want to, you're, you're just now learning about kind of being grounded, being stable, being independent, being able to like handle letting emotions back into your life. You're not ready to kind of dive off the deep end quite yet. Like, let me put my toes in the water first. Let me put my toes in the water, please. Queen of Swords here the star card there you are um this person this person if you kind of have that communication with them and tell them where you're at you will actually get uh, a lot further you would be surprised that this person but i do think that there's still some stuff you need to heal from the past um and being patient with yourself like and and asking people to be patient with you like, don't let this person just overstep their boundaries here. Um, because, because I feel for you. Like, it's like this pump the brakes. Like, I think you have a tendency to, you know, get wrapped up in things. And I think you know this. Like, get wrapped up a little bit quickly and then feel like you've been, like, disappointed. Or feel like you've been kind of, you know... I don't know, like going all in and then feeling like you went all in on the wrong thing. I'm not sure. I feel like this is kind of just symbolic of like, okay, you need to have conversation with this person about like, hey, like, let's take it easy here because this person's ready to get married. They're ready to have babies. They're ready to be in a commitment. They're ready to just, you know, and they're kind of doing it aggressively like it's almost like you don't really have a say in the matter you know so that's what i'm picking up on for you but in the extended i'll look more into who's coming forward towards you what their message is what they're wanting to communicate for those of you that do want this person i do think you do like this person so that must that's got to make you feel good that they're like ready to go the distance um so Let's see what advice from spirit is, what's happening unexpectedly for you, as well as moving forward, um, what the deal is. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box. I will see you there. Bye.